Well, hello there, everyone. Here I show you the allowance plug coloring activity right here. Is that uh, I went ahead and you know, drew right here is to say is uh, you know a few lines and of course right here is like for allowance plug and you know talking about DSL and of course with the wireless. And anybody probably think about you know what is that you know wireless plug is a, a name that I you know gave for it is it talking about a type of plug to where if most of us are familiar with like with most um not really your know, iPhone. Uh, you know, iPhone 5s or 6s or Android, you know, any type of smartphone or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's basically a, a plug to where that, that it would, uh, it's, it, uh, to where it not really, uh, inst you know, pre-installed into uh, the wall it is. And anybody probably think about is like uh, that, you know, with the technology nowadays, uh, like with the bands, is, is talking about a type of plug, uh, you know, that you can use that uh, kind of like uh, if most of us are familiar with like which calls like external hard drive about the size of an external hard drive but then of course it uh, supplies power of course to what you're using it is and uh, no worry about it you got, they got this you know, art uh, example right here drawing say of a, of a plug and anybody more likely to think about with that uh, with with the power though is how does, does the power supply of course, you know, you know, keep it sources is talking about right here with the allowance plug, and uh, basically that uh, you know the idea I came up with is uh, of course I have not invented it yet, but uh, more likely that uh, you know there could be a company around that more likely would have something you know kind of like this to where that uh, it would um, get its power. Of course, you know, it's like uh, you know, from from like what you call like a source you know connected to a a laptop it is and uh, anybody would probably think about like which calls allowance plug is like like any other plug that if it's connected to like which calls like the actual the actual you know power line it is and uh, and, and I, I studied a little bit of course about how electricity works is knowing about that, that there's like you know there's a uh, black I think a you know, if I, I can, you know, remember there's two wires, you know, one that sends it to it, and then one, uh, there's a wire that sends it back, of course, you know, to the, to the field it is, you know, for, for supply of power, but, uh, you know, just for, you know, for the, the power source, you know, for the plug, and, uh, knowing about with, uh, most, uh, outlets it is, anybody more I can think about, a kind that you can actually carry around with you, anybody probably think kind of like a ruler right here, to where that, um, if you can get power supply directly from like say a ruler like this is that you like a you say measure it is like a knowing about that that maybe a little bit smaller you know something a little bit smaller than this it is and then it's like you got right here like a calculator is where kind of like a with that allowance plug that, that you would be able to uh, get you know supply for whatever you were using directly from something like this to where you can actually lay it down like on a on a desk and then actually uh, be uh, using your computer it is you know be using uh, your you know if it's an android or if it's a laptop anybody can maybe think about that that's really impossible but uh, nowadays with technology that seems like almost everything is not you know too impossible because of knowing about that that, that yep yeah, you know with laptops that they're going to make them to the point to where that that they're about you know this size and then of course that they're going to maybe you know fold you know fold and then a uh, slide and you know slide in you know and then uh, form a shape and say of like a little pocket pack you know to be able to fit in your pocket it is but other than that that uh, no one about with the allowance plug is that uh, you know it basically gets a charge either by what you call like a computer is a connecting it to a USB a connector port it is or if it's the the fact about if you were to actually lay it down on a desk it is it's like you know by solar generation power it is or that uh, no one about anybody probably think but yeah no one about what it looks like but then of course how does it get its power you know how, how to you know how does it get its power and uh, anybody could probably think about that that uh, it basically holds charge and um I'm talking about with batteries though that uh that uh, if we're talking about your know, type of a battery technology, it is is to where that uh, it would uh, you know get its uh, charge. It's like you know, from like from the battery fluid, and of course, uh, if if most of us uh, you know have studied about of course about how batteries work, it is. But uh, I would probably say with the uh, allowance plug, it basically works. You know, just like you say you say you know battery, it is, but only that uh, you, know, you can carry it around with you, other than that. Uh, Having it, you know, 
say mounted into the wall and then of course and then of course in case of power failure anybody will probably think about that with the allowance plug is to in case of the power failure it will come in hand you know to use in case of the power goes out and um, knowing about that the, with the power it is if you're going to be relying on on uh, on the power backup power it is uh, you know to be uh, with you know using your connection it is and a lot of us were probably thinking about that the, that yeah that that you know of course with most laptops and smartphones today would have a battery you know generate you know, bad battery backup power it is and um I, I I have not really tried the experiment before of anybody probably thinking about it's like if you were to try to charge up uh, your um, it's like a something such as battery backup you know, by uh, bolt lightning whatever it is you know by lightning you know, if anybody probably think about you know easiest way of course to recharge a smartphone or something like that but but basically the, the allowance plug is that I got you know some ideas of course about the plug right here. And then that guy here is the plan. It's like basically whenever you're connected to a network, it is you're basically connected. You say to it's cause the world it is. <laughs> Anybody probably think about that? The uh, yeah, you know, don't exactly just yet, yeah, but, but knowing about that, um, that yeah, that uh, when I got drawn right here is that uh, you got right here is the plug, and then uh, uh, talking about right here is like basically is the connection, and. Uh, the connection it is and uh, most of us like with me though that I think about my connection it is and then think about these these different connector jacks it is you got right here is the one for you know the Ethernet uh, it's called you know, for e um, see ether you know the Ethernet line got right here for the you know for the Ethernet line and uh, and then one for the you know the internet say so, uh, you know, enter a uh, for internet and they say you know for DSL and I guess a lot of times this is for like mainly for like the the desktops it is and if I can remember yeah, my 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 desktop that you would now that uh, if I can you know maybe that's only on Skype if I can remember right the last time I was on Skype of course that uh, I was able to uh, allow you know just like you know to get the wireless and uh, with anybody probably think about right here as you have right here is for the Wi-Fi code and uh, with the Wi-Fi code, anybody will probably think about it. it's like a an activation code. It is. It could be found on say on on a, on a, that uh, they could be found on the back of, on the bottom of, of most modems. It is, and then uh, and a lot of times it's between you say you know for the alphabet letters. It is. Um, you got right here you know, for you know for you know the alphabet letters uh, uh, between letters and numbers and. Um, a way I would think about, I'm like that, that, that yeah, if uh, if the internet modem uh, you know, did um, require, it's like we say, you know, for, you know, AC, uh, AC 115Q, uh, uh, QCR, something like that, you know, lowercase r, or if it's lowercase q, and then, and then 5 it is, and uh, a lot of times it's between uh, 15, I think uh, most of them, most of the codes are, about 15 uh, see uh, if they if they go by you know characters long it is you know kind of like a password and anybody more likely think about it is that um, that you know why uh, why that's required and uh, more likely they probably think about that the, that you know that with the wireless though you don't have to deal with like a cord like this of course for like you say the, you know the DSL hookup it is and uh, knowing about you say when you know the e Ethernet and a lot of times I always wondered about you know why is it that that uh, that you have right here also is like you got right here is the, the wiring if if anybody can see that that the, that the, the wiring of course is a, a little bit different compared to say the actual you know phone line is and uh, my best guess is that uh, knowing about you see you got the red and of course the blue green and it looks like the brown wiring it is and. Um, I'm guessing that more likely that could be the connection or the the type of speed that uh, with most uh, PCs nowadays, with the most computers, uh, they would require like what you call like a, a basic uh, connection. It is to where that uh, from uh, how fast the internet is, and then uh, of course if it's going to be you know two three point oh or something like that connection you know for three point oh because I know with most USB ports uh, it is at um, 
you know, USB connectors it is that, that would use like a, what you call for you know USB uh, I've seen them of course in the electronics department but uh, I'm just like knowing about the differences is anybody more likely like like with me though that I could probably think about that, that maybe it's just the fact about either the design of the connection or if it's the fact about you'll give you faster connection you know fa faster speeds it is and um, knowing about with uh, electronics though <laughs> I've been uh, working with uh, you know I, I've been buying electronics for years and half the time getting a wonder it's like the fact about that they, yeah well what's wrong with it like well it don't work or you know maybe that you know time for an upgrade whatever it is and I could probably say about anybody would probably think about you know about a radio a CD player I could probably tell anybody that uh, I have a uh, I have bought maybe about that um, maybe about five CD players, uh, CD cassette players. Yeah, since um, see cassette, uh, I, I bought uh, quite a few. See, go ahead and put players right here. So, you know, CD cassette players, and uh, knowing about that, uh, the yeah. CD cassette players, if most of us know what I'm talking about, like you say, you know, not really like a boom box, you know, I say go ahead and draw like a boom box example right here, of a boom box right here. I, I bought many of these before, and uh, knowing about that, uh, that yeah, that they, I wind up using them until I wind up losing them, but uh, you got there is that an example right here of a boom box. And then uh, from there is like a stereo system, but and then, uh, and then it was a portable DVD, a, a, a portable CD player. You know, of course, I got a portable DVD player too. But anyway, but talking about right here is a is a CD player, a portable CD player, and you got right here is the headphones. It is, and I could probably tell anybody here that uh, I bought many of these, and the reason maybe why, if I were to go out and buy something else, would maybe be that uh, you know maybe has more features on there. Like uh, the boom box, you know, may have like what you call it, like maybe glow in the dark, you know, LED light. You know, anybody maybe think about, you know, the L, you know, L, you know, it has an LED light and of course, you know, advanced, uh, advanced antenna, something like that, advanced antenna. You know, anything related to iTunes. And um, knowing about that, um, So, you know for iTunes but anyway that they have right here is that knowing about that the you know for iTunes that the, that you have um, you know these uh, different uh, fun, uh, these different uh, options you see on, on say on like a boom box or if it's a stereo or you know anything else and uh, knowing about that you probably probably think about it if you go out and buy something and then knowing about that, that, that yeah it stops working or whatever but uh, but knowing about you know between 2.0 and of course 3.0 it is and I'm thinking that the, the USB connector more likely means that uh, hey you know that you're going to need to upgrade to something else because it's it's un, you know, ungraded it is either defective or you know no, no longer supported I would probably say yeah, that uh, a lot of the things I bought, you know, from over the years, that they say that the, the company no longer supports this and uh, supports this or that. But other than that, that's all I was talking about with the allowance plug. And uh, and of course, what I got you know drawn right here is explained about what to say as a screen. At the top of, of screen, it's like if you were to be on your computer, it is, and it basically be working the controls right here, the connection of the controls. It'll be um, controls, and then of course is the, is the setup. The setup options it is, and um, with the setup options you have right here is like the say example right here of the icons, and then uh, and the other one could be related to um, yeah that say plug in and of course your parental control a lot of times anybody probably think about if you were to try to get the DSL working it is but and I, I'm sure anybody would probably think about it, if you were to get on your computer it is and then uh, try to set up the DSL it is that there's like which calls like you know codes or you know, any type of verification code it is that it could be asking for it is 
and uh, a lot of times it uh, it's all provided by which cause like your provider it is you know for whoever if you're at the library or something like that you know trying to get on the wireless and uh, the way I think about it, I even thought about this when you're know, looking at my back of my and my modem box it is is that I have a uh, all together see three you know four you know four DSL lines and anybody could probably think about with four of them and I'm only using two and they say that uh, you, know, you can pretty much use them you know however that you want to use them uh, by and uh, you know, it's like I'll include with your package it is and uh, I keep thinking about if I want to you know, it's like uh, that um, I could maybe use one for like which calls like a, a laptop if I were to get a laptop one of these days but on your hand to any type of plugins it is it's like right here is it's what the USB connector it is and I can remember whenever I connected a, a laptop to the the third line it is for the Ethernet line then uh, I can tell that uh, some of the data that I had connected to another that I had saved on another file on another computer it was was being uh, transferred Accor according to um, what um, yeah, I really don't know exactly how it works, but uh, I think that uh, the yeah, if you're gonna have like what you call as, like a an internet modem, you know, kind of like this right here, to where you're gonna have like a number of connector jacks, it is, and basically they're all separate lines. But I guess if you uh, were to uh, have uh, go to the like the parental control and of course uh, control panel, I guess you say the control panel, not really the parental, but but the like the control panel. And then if you were to select, it's like which calls like connections, you know, networking connections, and you'll be able to control from a, you know whichever it's like for the the connections it is. It's knowing about you know, if like with the whenever you know, with public, you know, if you were to connect to the network, and then there will be which calls like connected for the public, which means basically means anybody probably think about would say no firewalls uh, that you don't have no firewalls you know no source of protection you know towards like which cause like I don't know about hackers but um, but basically that uh, with uh, you know other computers it is and um, anything that, that could be saved on one computer could maybe be transferred to uh, the other computer it is and uh, which I really don't know. Anybody probably think about that? You know, if you're going to have other devices that are going to be using your connection, it is. Anybody probably think about it. if you're if you're talking about paying about you know maybe sixty dollars a month, of course you know for the service it is sixty dollars a month um, for for the, the service. And uh, know about you know, that, you know for all most of the, this stuff is all included. It is, and then anybody probably think about it. if you were to connect the you know, say you got the the wireless, so you got you know, your you know lap you know your laptop connected to the wireless, and then on the the second say connector it is if you want to maybe connect like a Magic Jack device or something like that to uh, the the modem, and then the, for the third if you want to go ahead and connect the, the DSL it is, but of course the DSL is connected to, of course to the first one you say you know for for. Ethernet line one it is and anybody more likely think about that that, that which I've seen that that yeah, the last time I tried it before I can remember that that there was uh, something related to uh, the fact about other files it was connection you see and then and files it was your know, files that uh, that apparently that look like that they uh, were being accessed you know, from another computer it is and uh you know, trying to connect somebody or you know, using my uh, networking, it is you know the the connect you know, the networking that I'm using. Of course, you know here you know at home it is is knowing about that the that it's basically using my networking. And uh, anybody can maybe think about that 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 you know you got a problem with that. But uh, on your hand too that uh, if we're talking about you know maybe tax files or if it's any type of personal files, it is. And basically they say that with on like I say is control panel that. Uh, that uh, you have a uh, control over the fact about if you're going to have other devices, you know, using your networking connection, it is that you have you know control over which one can you know access these files, it is. And um, anyway, um, but the way I think about it, anybody probably think about that uh, that yeah that uh, that with any devices that you have is like you know use extra caution. It is is that if you're you know transferring, it is is like you know for use extra caution. Of knowing about exactly, but if you're going to be connecting uh, the, if you're going to be 
connecting another device, a separate device, you know, such as an e-reader or something like that, you know, to what you call like maybe something related to like what you call an allowance plug to where that it supplies extra power, of course, to the device. And then from there, and then uh, from there, it's going to be like, well, you know, uh, that anything that uh, more likely that could be personal saved on, on a file, on the on the memory it is uh, you know for if it's going to be like something such as sky drive or anything like that that more likely they're probably thinking about well it's then that you should have control or that knowing about you know, do you trust the you know, market if you know if you trust the the device you know the decide or if you trust the device it is and um i would probably think about anybody would probably think about that um like with me though that uh, i i really don't know but uh, you would think that you know for every uh, wireless connection that you would not think that any information related to any any files or anything like that say on one computer would be transferred to another computer and um, if you're going to be using the same wireless and my best guess is I don't know if it's exactly transferred anybody may think that just because that they've seen it on another computer it is is that if you're going to be using if you're going to be letting somebody else use your connection it is that for what you have and from from home or if it's from office or something like that you know from your office uh, or anything like that is uh, basically that I guess it means that um, it's a uh, you know using that uh, the same connection it is and uh, the fact about that they uh, more likely may not be able to open those files you know if, even if they're, they're visible right on your on the sc on the screen such as on the my documents file or say my my uh, you know say my my tax you know creation you know you say 2004 to 2014 or you know anything like that if you were to mark the year it's like etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, anybody more I could think about that uh, like <laughs> like with me like I said la 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 but uh, with, with the way I would think about it is that uh, if you were to uh, be working with that stuff and knowing about that that, that hey you know that uh, I did not give this device permission of course to to transfer any of my files you know such as if it's related to school if it's related to the college uh, course or if it's related to any type of medical study whatever it is that I did not give that device permission to access you know to these files it was and a lot of us will probably think about that then anything personal of course would be like what you call like maybe anything you know from like the c drive it is you know for a c drive or the d drive you see or the i don't know if there's a, a drive called the t drive but um for whatever file that you have it saved on and uh, basically it would more likely show that on another computer if you were to connect it to like what you call like you know an ethernet line three it is if you have something connected to ethernet line one that uh, basically that uh, that uh, like with the wireless I have not tested it out for sure but uh, anybody would probably think about with the allowance plug with the allowance plug that you would have it to where everybody you know had you know has be able to have fair share of knowing about when if you're, that whatever that they're doing on the computer don't need to be copied to another device such as which costs like a smartphone because on the other hand too that knowing about that uh, and this is this is my stuff and I don't need something you know such as um you know if I'm letting a friend use my you know internet connection it is and I you know they don't need to see my stuff it is or you know especially anybody probably thinking about you know with the maybe with the lawyer maybe with the maybe with the landlord whoever it is your boss uh, you know for business reasons it's like you know they you know, a lot of that stuff that is you know pretty much should be kept confidential that more likely they say that uh that you know to just you know keep a you know you know keep caution about you know if like if you're gonna be letting somebody else use your your internet connection it is that basically that uh, that uh, it's like that you go through these you know these you know setup options and anybody probably think about it, it's like a set of talk about with connection of course with the control and of course with the setup is knowing about with your security it's like with the with a security and anybody more likely think about if I can maybe do my homework right here is talking about basically which ex explained about uh, the fact about you know with the internet uh, connection of course with the setup it is is basically you know the time spent the time spent um, uh, working uh, working on uh, the process 
go ahead and write your know, process right here. Time working on the process, and anybody more likely think about well, what does what does you say process mean or anything like that, or you know DSL, anything like that. Like and questions go on and on. But hey, you know, I am not a teacher. I don't really know exactly what this means or what that means or whatever you call it. You know, why is it that more likely it's like yeah, hey, you know, why does this require? A pair of reading glasses right here you know just to be able it's like talking about you got right here is the reading glasses and and like you know yeah well you know how come I can't see it? it's like it's asking for a password right well that password that they say will be located on say on the purple sticker on the bottom of the modem it is and when I was like yeah, after I paid the bill it's located on on a purple sticker with this purple sticker right here <laughs> It's like, you know, have you located the purple sticker yet? And more likely that purple sticker, you know, could say something like what you call, like, uh, you, know, but, you know, if we were to do that, the homework it is, like we say the purple sticker, as you have right here, is they talking about, is like the letters, you know, you know, T, uh, TS, uh, TS55, I would say, you know, T for TS55, and like, you know, enter that in there, and on the bot right here, is like yeah for TS55 and uh, more likely we could probably think about with you know for TS55 you enter it in there and they said you nope know, it's invalid it is invalid you know and then ask you to type it in again or something like that and TS55 and uh, does it have to be you know, are you talking about in lowercase or in uppercase well whichever it is it's like talking about like hey you know, man, I, I'm trying to you know enter the, you know, the access code but other than that, that, uh, that you have right there is basically talking about right here. It's like for the, say, for you say for the measurements, it's talking about the study about DSL and, of course, with the wireless. And anybody more likely think about that, that, that yeah, if you're going to be uh, using this type of stuff, it is. It's like basically that about almost every, you know, about almost everybody, you know, is, is using it. And, uh, and, of course, with the allowance plug idea that I have right here is basically talking about a device to where you can actually get power you know it's like on say for your own your own you know for you know your own you know type of experience of besides uh, getting away from they say the wall outlet you know AC outlet it is basically you know for AC outlet it is and basically I guess anybody would probably think about it, it's basically you know portable it's a portable you know plug-in it's a portable plug to where it supplies the power for you know, whichever that you'll be using it is. But anybody more I could think about how does it work? Well, you know, and I, I'm like, yeah, I have had not drawn all those details yet, but on your hand too, just get an idea for everybody here. But other than that, let's talk about it so far as you know the details for the allowance plug coloring activity.